Hey, Donnie Smith here, and I just got a quick Q&A. I have a question on my YouTube channel, my DIY Auto Body and Paint channel, and I was going to answer this question. It's a good question. It comes from Simon. It says, hey there, I just can't understand why it is not possible to apply body filler to edge primer. What happens when you do? It is just a question of bad, or is it just a question of bad adhesion, or does it react somehow with the edge primer? Because to me, it sounds even worse to apply body filler direct to metal since it is porous material and simply uh, the moisture in the air could get trapped under the filler as well. In my mind you need to apply something that chemically merges with the metal like acid helps etch primer or something that transports any moisture to the surface or otherwise away from the metal. Good vids by the way, this is not a critique, just wondering. And that is a good question and the short answer to this is you know, if you're wanting to apply body filler over a primer, like you, you're mentioning here, about the only primer that is recommended on the technical data sheets by most most uh, primers is the is epoxy primer. So if you're wanting to seal that metal off and then apply some uh, body filler, you know that'd probably be the way to go. And uh, to another one of your concerns about applying body filler to the metal, you know it's designed to do that. Most of the premium body fillers have zinc in them and that zinc is what provides corrosion protection so it has zinc in the body filler that is designed to go directly to metal now why can't you put it over self etch you know to tell you that you know I, I'm really not a uh, you know I'm not a scientist or a chemist or you know don't know all that I just know that most technical data sheets don't don't say not to do that so but I really don't know the reasoning to me in my mind I'm just thinking that acids gonna react with the body filler and either cause an adhesion problem like you mentioned or cause a mapping where it kind of lifts the edges and you'll be able to see what looks like scratches that you know after it's been painted and everything but that's a that's not a absolute answer that's just my opinion uh, but me you know it just says not to do it so you know I try to follow those recommendations it's kind of like a you know if you drink and drive you know you're gonna get arrested or go to jail or whatever and we both know that every time you drink and drive you're not gonna go to jail but if you do it long enough you know, you're probably going to get caught. And I think this is the same way. You know, I, I think it's a good idea just to follow the recommendations because they do have, you know, the, the, the paint makers or, you know, whoever, t they test these products and uh, they know how they work best and how they don't. And, you know, I think it's best just to try to follow those recommendations. But, so I hope that helps answer your question. What I would do, you know, if I did want to prime that bare metal before I, before I applied body filler, you know, I'd use epoxy. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video.